So, it's time for another well overdue morning walk. So, if you've heard anyone speak on productivity for any length of time, you'll know there's four kinds of tasks. There's the urgent, important tasks. There are the not important, urgent tasks. There's the not urgent, important tasks. And the urgent, not important tasks. And if you're going to be successful in anything, I don't care what that is, that could be church, that could be family, that could be you name it. But if you want to be able to succeed in prioritizing what you do, you want to spend as much time as possible in the important, not urgent section. Because this is the hardest work to do, because the not important, urgent work is always crowding in on it. Now, I am a sucker for this just like pretty much everybody else. But what I wanted to point out today is what I'm doing about it, you see. So I've got something figured out, but hang on a second, I'm at the park and I'm sure Seth will want to get out. Hey! <laughs> So Seth doesn't quite do swings by himself yet, but he does love it if I get on it. So, all right. So now to continue. The thought that motivated this particular video is that I always seem to be focused on the urgent, unimportant stuff. The stuff that absolutely demands to be done. The stuff that's got people on the other end saying, I need this by Monday. Those sort of things are the things that are getting priority in, in my work and Ultimately, that is to the detriment of the things that I actually care about. The things that will actually make the biggest difference over the longest time frame. So here's what we're going to do. We're doing a week-long experiment this week. So today, I'm coming to you on Sunday morning. And this is the beginning of a new week. And tomorrow morning, I am blocking out my calendar. for. Well, I actually did it on Friday. I'm blocking out my entire calendar for, for the five-day work week. And the only thing that I'm going to be working on is the important, not urgent tasks. I have. I will be setting up a uh, autoresponder on my email account that explains to people that I don't exist for the next seven days as far as they're concerned. And if they have something that is truly urgent where somebody will in fact die, they are welcome to call my mobile. But that, aside from that, that's gonna be it. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to do for ages and I've done in small ways, but it doesn't always pan out that way because when you do it in small chunks, you, there's always the temptation, oh, but I'll just stay in touch with my emails at least so I know what's going on and then something will come in that I think, oh yeah, I probably should do that, it won't take long, I'll do it. And then it leads to something else, leads to something else, and so therefore I end up in what I call the tyranny of the urgent. So think about that phrase for a second, the tyranny of the urgent. And ask yourself, do you ever fall into that trap? Do you ever fall into the trap of doing everything that's urgent and nothing that's important? Well, if I'm doing this this week, why don't you give some thought to it this week? Sit down, write out your priorities, what it is that, that really gets you going, what it is that you wanna do that's gonna make a difference in your life five and 10 years from now. Is that playing with your kids because often the people that are closest to us are the easiest to say no to and so therefore the most important people get prioritized out of our life so take some time to do that think it through and if you find yourself under the tyranny of the urgent be that in work in your family in your church whatever that may be do what I'm doing say okay well like, this may not be a work thing so maybe you're prioritizing your hours outside of work but say no to the urgent stuff for a little bit in order to say no to the important stuff and I guarantee that if you do that it will make a big difference like I said before I've done this in small chunks but doing it in a larger chunk I'm hoping I will get an even bigger impact because when I did it right even in the smaller chunks it did make a massive impact in my life so I encourage you to do the same I look forward to coming back and shooting another another morning walk video soon because it's just been too long and I miss you guys uh, and I really look forward to seeing what this week is going to look like for me I'm hoping to report back and let you guys know how it went but also if any of you choose to do this make sure you let me because I'd love to know what it looks like in someone else's life. So until then, we say goodbye. Say, wave, say, wave, wave. Come on, he does this. He just knows that there's a camera on him and so he doesn't think he has to. This, this one, here you go. One, two, wave, 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 wave. Yeah, high five. Yeah, come on, come on. Dad, daddy's showing off with you, come on, high five. Yeah, there you go, fist bump. <laughs> there we go, he's good, he's got it, he's got it. 
All right, so as I was saying, I will catch you guys next time. Have an awesome week and God bless.